Are you a judge? I don't need to give you a reason to search your car. A dismissive officer pulls over this innocent man. The officer instructs him to place his hands on the patrol car and asks if there are any weapons. Confused and frustrated, the man asks why he's been stopped. The officer claims his license plate light is defective and that he looks suspicious. As if that's not enough, the officer hints at suspicions of other criminal activity, specifically narcotics. The officer initially searches the car, but fails to find anything suspicious. Despite finding nothing, he does not allow the man to leave. Frustrated, the innocent man accuses the officer of targeting him without cause and questions the legality of the traffic stop. This triggers the officer, and he detains the man, calls for backup, and requests a K-9 unit to search the car. Watch what happens next and share your opinion in the comments. Put your hands right here. Make sure you don't have any weapons on you. Yeah, of course. Okay, I'll get you to move to the front of my patrol car. I have no idea why I'm being stopped. Okay. The reason why you're being stopped, your license plate light is defective, it's not working. Right. You, you were a right significant here? distance away, you sir. You were following me. You were following me for a period of time before I got here. Stay on this front bumper for me. Great. Right? You, you, okay. You stay on the right side of the law for me, okay? He's going to do everything he can to search my car. He'll find nothing, but of course, who knows what he's got in his car to put in mine, so we'll see. Uh, while we're waiting on uh, my backup officer to get here so he can sit with you while I deploy my canine on the vehicle, mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to go ahead and issue your warning for the defective license plate line, okay? And your reason for calling the canine? Uh, I, I actually am a canine based off of some of the stuff I'm seeing. I have mm. reason to believe that other criminal activity could be taking place. Sure. Okay. Especially since you didn't find anything when you ran my license. I haven't ran your license. Oh, I, okay, I, I sure. I told them the whole In other words, I didn't like immediately couch out to you, so you're taking revenge by no, calling sir. your uh, power on me. No. Uh huh. You, you have, everybody's entitled to their opinion, whether it be right or wrong. So you're going to tell me on the record that you don't, you can't run my license, you cannot run my license and get my so insurance. I can run it through my dispatch. It does not always come back as able to uh, verify the insurance. What they, my dispatch calls confirm. So if my dispatch is unable to confirm it and you're unable to provide proof of insurance on the side of the road, I have to issue a citation for no insurance. You'll have to prove to the court later if uh, you do have insurance at this date and this time. You'll have to prove to the court later if, and that's a big word, my dispatch can't confirm it. I don't know. I have not ran your... So you're saying you don't have that device that allows you to track insurance. No, Frankston, Frankston, your police, your, your police a, uh, budget and the city council's budget does not allow you to run people's insurance. You don't have that device. I would gladly like to have that, but you would have to come to our city council and find out why they have not purchased that for our cars. I would love to have that authority or that ability, but I do not know, sir. How much of a distance does it take to see that my license plate is not functioning? State law requires it has to be visible up to 50 foot. And you were more than 50 feet away from me. You, you had to you, follow me to find out. So you, you, you actually followed me because it was time to write somebody a ticket. No, sir. I, I observed you pass me in the turn lane. And, and I, I observed you, you observing me. I The and whole passed, stalking I thing. I the uh, license plate was defective. The license plate light was defective. At which point I put my car in drive and, and pulled out in a safe manner to get behind you to initiate a traffic stop. And why are you searching my car again? I'm not. Uh, I just based off of observations that I have seen, it leads me to believe there could be other criminal activity taking sure. place to include possibility of narcotics. I don't know. Okay. So you're trained. accusing me of having narcotics? No, sir, I'm not. Well, and yet you're letting others, someone sniff my car out. Okay, which what what is that? What other criminal I mean, activity? I have a legal right to know what you're suspecting me of. I, I, right now, I believe other criminal activity could be taken. Well, such as possible narcotics. Uh, I see. So what what about it's narcotics? Tell me what, why you think there's narcotics because I'm talking back to, to you. I do not have to give you my reasonable suspicion. Actually, you do. No, you no, do no. have to give me the suspicion in front of a judge. You have okay. to explain Are you why. A judge? No. Okay, then there you go. And why am I stopped here? Why am I why am I being asked to stop here? Am I under arrest? 
You are being detained. Am I under arrest? No, sir. You are detained. If I'm under not under arrest, then I'm free to go. No, sir. You're not. So you're saying there's an in-between detained that you, you can do that? No. You have to either you're arrest detained. me or I'm free to go. Those are the two options here. If you get in your vehicle and leave, I will follow you. You will be placed under arrest for felony evading in a motor vehicle. I do have your license. I know who you are. I will follow you. I will chase you. You will go to jail for felony evading in a motor vehicle if you get in your vehicle and leave. I see. So okay. you're, you're saying that... If you leave in your vehicle right now, you are not free to go. You are detained for a traffic infraction. If you get in your vehicle and leave, you will be chased. You will be arrested for felony evading in a motor vehicle, which is a felony in the state of Texas. And why are you detaining me again? You're going to let somebody search my car. No, sir, I did not. Then why are you holding me? I don't. I guess like, right you're not now, understanding it. You're not right explaining now, this to you me. Are detained because because of the traffic on off right. I see the, the little car. The thing you had to the get within light 50 light. yards, 50 feet of me to to see. You didn't see it when I passed by. You followed me until you found something that you could stop me for. I'm not going to light you up at an intersection with a red light. It doesn't do any good to sit there behind you while waiting on the lights to mm, turn green. Sure. So once the light turned green, you turned on to Highway 175, I activated my lights to initiate the traffic stop. Mm. What good would it have done to cause confusion to light my lights up at a red light where you have nowhere to go? So I allowed you to turn on to Highway 175 and initiated my traffic stop so that you could safely pull up. You were eyeballing me from the minute I got close to you. Uh, it could be the fact you were driving in the turn lane, but... That's Actually, I was trying to turn, then I saw you eyeballing me, and I went back in the regular lane and turned because I knew you Part would follow me. It's to, watch is to write for tickets for the municipality, practice. you know, and make up reasons to ride them. I got it. Uh, you're actually getting a warning tonight. Am I? Yes, sir. But when you get your, your dog you. sniffing thing that you're not telling me about, you're going to get your guy to, to sniff my car with a dog because you think allegedly I'm on I, drugs. I, I don't know what's going on. Based off of the, your behavior, yeah, I'm not allowing you to run roughshod over me. I'm you're not acknowledging the fact that you have a device in your car that can look up my insurance. Sir, do you see a computer anywhere in my patrol car? I can, I don't see. Oh, right I see. There's where it would be. I do not have a computer. I have a computer mount right there, but I do not have the access to do that. So you're bringing a guy here with the with the with no, a, sir. The canines actually you can probably see him in the back seat right there. So why are we here? We're waiting on my partner to arrive so he can sit with you while I get my dog out. So you are going to sniff my car out? On the exterior, yes, sir. On the exterior? Yeah, because you're not getting on the inside. You're going to have to get a warrant to get on the inside. So the way the police dog works, if my dog alerts on the exterior of the vehicle, that gives me probable cause. What constitutes an alert? You're going, oh, wait, my dog's sniffing something, even though when he's passive? That, that's something you did. Yeah, so he has a passive alert. That's something oh, okay, you, so you, you get to make up no. and to get in my car. No, sir. If my dog alerts, he's trained to alert on the odor of marijuana, meth, cocaine, heroin, or ecstasy. If any of those items are in the vehicle or have been in the vehicle recently, my dog will give an alert. Right, and if you don't find it, you'll point. pretend that he alerted you and so then get whatever point. you have in your back seat to put it in here so to justify point, taking me in. So at which point, if my dog alerts on the vehicle, it gives me probable cause to search the vehicle. If my dog, and again, that's a big two-letter word, if my dog alerts, then you will be detained in handcuffs, placed in the back of the car in a search of the vehicle. So in other words, you're telling me I am going to be detained no, because you have every know. intention of arresting me no matter what alert. he finds. I don't know if my dog will alert or not. I don't know you from Adam. My first time meeting you. Where are you actually from? So I, I've never met you. I don't know you. So Those are the best kind of guys to ticket, right? You just ticket. We pay. Sir, we don't have any choice. Warning. There is no fine. You're getting a warning. I told you that from the get-go when I make contact with you. Sure you did. You also told me that you saw something you couldn't possibly have seen when I passed by you. You had to follow me to see this miss sir, blinking. Sir, the license plate light. One second. You said 50 yards. You said... One second. Sir. You got it on your video. So if I the came by here stopped. five nights out of the week, I wouldn't find you perched there looking for next prey. I, actually, I have to patrol the city of Frankston, so... Is it a crime to film the mayor's house? Well, I think it is. This innocent man, Ryan was taking photos around town when a police officer suddenly stopped him. The officer, initially appearing friendly, asked if everything was okay and if he needed any help. Ryan explained that he was simply photographing various landmarks, including the mayor's house and a new school under construction. He runs the Harvey Historical Society and often takes photos of old, beautiful buildings, insisting he hadn't done anything illegal. However, the officer soon returned, his demeanor shifting to suspicion and demanded to see Ryan's ID. Watch what happens next 
and share your opinion in the comments. So I was just out taking some photos as I am wont to do. Here is uh, the mayor's house. That he one of the houses that he owns and another house that's under construction. Here is the new Maya Angelou school. And I had this lovely Harvey police officer stop me and ask me if everything is okay and if I needed help. So let's see if he's gonna come back. Sir. Hi officer. Uh, yeah, can I help you? Yeah, uh, you were taking uh, photos of this house. Uh... Right, of and, and the school and everything? Yeah, I do the you Harvey. Um I do, but yeah, I... Can I see your ID, sir? Uh, investigation. Okay, but uh, I'm not doing anything that's okay, illegal. Well, just, I need to know who you are, sir. That's all it is. Because, you know, this is the mayor's uh, house. I want to make sure there's oh. no threat. Right. There's no... No, I, I actually run the Harvey Historical Society. So okay. I, I take photos and video all the oh, time. okay, okay. Well, let, let me see your ID. Yeah. I'm out with a suspicious vehicle, uh, 5, 7, and P. Oh, we're suspicious. Just for the for our record. That's fine. That's can fine. I get your name and, and badge number? Yeah, as soon as you tell me who you are, sir. Yeah, I'm I'm Ryan with the Harvey yes, Historical yeah, Society. Uh, then are you traffic uh, county out of here? Am I obligated to show him my ID if we didn't do anything illegal? I don't know. <laughs> hmm, I don't think so. Thank you. Yeah, just to be clear, again, you know... We're, Thank you, sir. I take photos all over. Okay, so well, how do you know that? We're, yeah, we're not doing anything illegal, so this is kind of freaking me out that oh, I'm I being know. asked for my ID. It's almost like the, the state is trying to track me or something. The state of who? The, well, in this case, the city. Oh. It's pretty, yeah, it's kind of making me uncomfortable. Plus, I do tours of Harvey all the time. Richie's actually doing tour for me. So. Oh, okay, okay, that's okay. <laughs> okay. I, right. I, you know. Okay. I'm never, okay. Just making sure. I'm just driving by and I see you taking photos of this house. Right. Well, sir, um, is it? Mm -hmm. What's your phone number? Yeah, three one two. Yes, ma'am. Do you have an okay. idea? You yeah, I do. Thank you very um, much. Yeah, because we were actually just. Are you guys related? No, we're friends. Okay, fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. Because we're just through like uh, I like the older homes. Yes, and so we were I just, do too. I had an old home. You know who has, mm -hmm. you know who has the best uh, older homes? Who's that? Crown Point. Really? On Main Street. Beautiful. Really? Wrap around porch. Uh, that's my. That's yes. my favorite. Yeah. I had a house in Lockport that was beautiful. Yeah. But what I'm just curious though, like who who is reporting us for being on the public sidewalk? That's very oh, no. weird. Well, like I said, sir. Uh, well, we were taking pictures of this house, and that's that's the mayor's house. And uh, oh, he's been I just, take, I just want to make sure that everything's okay. He takes a lot of pictures. Okay, and yeah. so yeah, I actually document every house in yeah. Miami. Do you? Every nice. house. Yeah. Nice. And particular since this one is under construction, that I wanted pretty. to see exactly what's going on because um, that is our specialty is like restoring older homes. Nice. So. I like that. Which is yes. which is nice. Three, Me four, too. Five, also, I'm I'm raising that point because I'm very. Uh, you know, the mayor had me arrested for filming a public meeting. Um, so he's very, he has a um, something out for me and I'm not sure why. So that's why I, I also take it, I get very nervous. and I'm not here for that. I'm here just to make sure that... Well, I'm just saying, you know what I mean? So I get very, very nervous and very... SM5. Uh, yeah, I'm like the most boring person ever. <laughs> Hi guys, you have a good day. All right, thank I, you. Have, have you be safe. Thank you. Oh, my la my last name is Magana. Five three four is my uh, my star. Hi, uh, oh, okay. so Officer Magana, I had a house in Lockport. Okay. I was telling Ryan that it actually had the old like limestone was the foundation. Oh yeah. It had a cistern. Yes. That's how old it was. Yes. So that's how I I'm just nice. fascinated by older homes. So I am too, especially especially the top of the buildings. Yeah. Right. Yeah, you show me the high school. The which um, high school? The Thornton Township. Thornton Township oh, yeah. High School. I, With their, I went to Thorn Ridge, so Right. I'm a Falcon. <laughs> Have a good day, guys. <laughs> Have a good one. Okay, and just so you know, we're gonna we're gonna go uh take some photos of the retention pond area over there. Okay. So we'll be over there too. That, that's fine. Not, not but we, I, like yeah. I said, I'm just very cautious because for some reason the mayor has a vendetta against well, me. That's that's, and that's I, something I, else. So. Well Have a good day, sir. Have a good day. Mother Have chart. Good one. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, this is all being recorded. Thank you for watching. 
If you like the video, please subscribe to our channel. Our goal is to educate people on First Amendment rights. Make sure you like our videos as much as possible. We will see you in the next video.